guys, I had to do it. I bought the Filson uh, Rough Out Leather Short Cruiser Jacket. And uh, this came out last year too, but um, I missed out on it. I uh, was a little too slow and I regret that because apparently it's slightly different than this one. But uh, anyways, I, I thought I'd try it out anyways and, and see how it goes. I did open this already and take a peek at it, but uh, I'll open it again right here. Well, there you have it. A full grain oiled rough out leather. And it's a lot darker than I expected and definitely darker than last year's. Um, but other than that, it looks really good. Um, looks kind of small to me though. And we'll find out here in a second. I'm not sure how thick this stuff is, but um, it's thin enough that it still flexes nicely. Um, I kind of was expecting it to be slightly thicker though, but I mean, it's not like super, super thin or nothing. But it would be interesting to see how long it would hold up, but I'm thinking this medium is going to be too small. I got the medium because I have all my other coats in medium. But uh, disclaimer, I did gain a little bit of weight here in the last little while. And I'll put my measurements in the description below. So check that out because I am a little bit bigger. Um, but anyways, that aside, this one doesn't fit like the medium coat that I have on right now does. They market it as kind of like a rugged work coat and it would be really interesting to see how it holds up because it does seem like, I don't know, maybe some barbed wire would be able to like rip it fairly easy, but I really don't know. It'd be nice to, to test that, but I don't have that kind of money to blow on testing something like that. So it just had to be in use over time, but I can't keep this medium, I don't think. I'm feeling like it's too small. But it looks nice, actually. If it fit really nice, I'd probably just keep it, because it is nice. But not quite what I was expecting. And the collar here is the 100% cotton corduroy and the inside of the cuffs is 100% cotton corduroy as well. You got a two button adjustment on the cuffs. These are all snap button closures too on the front and the cuffs. It is made in USA. We'll do some close up footage here in a second too. Yeah, this is the medium. I'll throw it on and show you what it looks like. So, uh, I got the thin Filson uh, t-shirt, wool t-shirt underneath, and then the full weight Alaskan Guide shirt button up on, and that's normally what I'm wearing. And I'm gonna see how this fits underneath. I can actually do all, all the buttons. You know, it's almost like a exact fit. Condom tight fit.
what's going on here. Did I just not clip it hard enough? I think so. Okay, good. It actually fits over that. But I think maybe the large would fit nicer. I think it's a little bit too tight on the shoulders. Yeah, definitely a little too tight in here and in here. Definitely. You can't really stretch out too well. It binds. You can't reach for things. It is a pretty sharp looking coat though if it was the right size for me. If I tried a large it would probably be really nice. Really nice. On the website it says it's a relaxed fit and uh, it says this one's a relaxed fit as well. And uh, that's a single Mackinac and uh, it seems to be a lot more roomy than this one. Now if this is actually big enough that I could put some wool layers underneath, it would actually be really handy. And it would be nice to use it around the farm to see how well it holds up. But uh, real sharp looking coat, real nice actually. You know, thinner than I thought, different color than I expected. But uh, nice. There is a few blemishes I found where there's some, uh, I don't know, veins or something that were in the uh, leather that... Uh, left it looking uh, not top notch so to say and uh, that was disappointing I can show some of those up close I could probably exchange it for large but I'm gonna let you guys know what I decide if I do I'll show you and update you if not then then I, we'll see <laughs> thanks again for watching my fucking video